I wish they had rendered like little like tear bubbles uh, on their bottom eyelids or something because the way that they render crying eyes in this game looks like her eyes have force fields. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just a yeah. little bit. It's like, quick, quick, shoot her in the eyes. They have 800 health. <laughs> we need shield break. Bay. Ah. Thanks for shielding us from Lakshmi, you two. If you hadn't been there, the rest of us would be worshipping her by now. You're kind to include me, Lise. But we both know who did most of the work. I could scarce keep track of the battle, let alone land the telling blow. No shame in admitting it. But the Warrior of Light has put far better men than me in the shade. <laughs> He's literally standing in my shade. <clears throat> did did I mention that I encountered the Sultana in the palace? It would seem her grace has come to Girabania to oversee the final stages of her relocation project. She was in search of General Aldin, and I directed her to the rooftop garden. I do hope you were still there. Are you in the habit of gossiping about the affairs of royalty, Master <laughs> Leveilleur? Certainly not, Your Grace. I, I was merely informing my companions. Be at ease, Alpha Note. Was only a jest. But I must yield the floor to Rabo. He has an important Fine. announcement to make. <laughs> if it needs a sister. <clears throat> As of yesternight, I have been relieved of my post in the Immortal Flames and the Syndicate both. You named your weapon to Zona? I shall be assuming my father's duties. And may I say that Tizona has never felt heavier upon my back. Toward seem I am in need of employment. Mayhap one of my old acquaintances Oof, can introduce right me now. to a Too soon. company or some such. You may be getting on in years, father, but you'd struggle to find a band of sellswords who wouldn't snap your hand off. Your remaining hand. <laughs> yes, the bull of Alamigo need not be put out to pasture just oh my yet. God. <laughs> your grace has developed a wicked edge to her humor. And you, Pippin, would do well not to laugh when the future may hold the same for you. So, does this mean you're staying? Aye. That seems to be the way of it. I would be glad to aid you in rebuilding our nation, if you'll have me. He says, Welcome home, Ralvan. Mm. Well, that was unexpected, though you seem distinctly unsurprised. You are more astute than I give you credit for, or I'm losing my touch. In any event, one thing is certain. Alamigo will rejoice at the homecoming of her dearest son.
Him saying I'm he's losing his touch just quest. reminds me of behind the scenes uh, Peter Dinklage interviews. Tyrion's smart, but I guess he's not that smart. <laughs> wow. Damn it. I am talking to Lise. Hold on. All right. Hmm? Someone stood in the way. I'm trying to get a really good shot of the prince. Uh, the Sultana's back right here. <laughs> That'll have to do. Mm. I've got it. Are we good? I think it's about time I headed back to Ralgar's Reach. What's next for all of you? Alice will be eager to hear of our recent of recent events, so I shall join you, if you have no objections. I'd welcome the company. Hero, why don't you come along to the Reach as well, once you've said your farewells to Nanamo and the others? Just leave without saying anything. Well, bye then. Upon completion of this quest, you'll be able to access the palace's rooftop gardens by speaking to the Royal Menagerie Attendant. Okay. Yay. Yay, free guard. Oh, we gotta finish the quest first. We, we don't well, actually need to talk to the Sultana. To bye, Sultana. Reach. We'll never talk to you again. We will definitely talk to her again. Wait. Where are we Probably. going? Where? Oh, Ralgar's Reach. Back to Ralgar's Reach. I.e. Um, follow the teleport. Yep. We... Follow the teleport road. Follow the teleport road. Oh yeah, this place. Where was our objective? I oh, spent sorry. much time here. It's up at the stupid big table where everything is. Uh-huh. Always at the big table. I spent so much time coming back here doing the freaking date escape instances. Yep. Delta Escape was great. The story sucked. Yeah. I liked Fights Kefka <laughs> fight. Fighting Kefka was I a like surprise. Yeah. Was it a surprise when all of it was building up Final Fantasy VIII? Or six or whatever? Six. Well, I didn't know many of the bosses from six. I'd never played it. I'm talking to her. Yep, we're all talking to Lise. Well, here we are again. It's always such a pleasure. Alphano has regaled me with a thrilling tale of hidden treasure troves, mid-meeting betrayals, unlikely alliances, and joyous homecomings. It would seem I missed everything, just like when I missed the entire story of the original game. I was patrolling the palace grounds with Thancreed and Yustola when we heard the report of a primal in the throne room. I honestly doubted my own ears. As others have said, we, are, we were lucky to have our Echo blessed champions nearby this time, but we'll need to keep a closer eye on the uh, Kal Kalyana. You can say that again. This whole episode has reminded me just how far apart our kind still are. It looks like centuries of fear and mistrust really can't be washed away in a day. But someone has to make an effort at reconciliation if these conflicts are ever going to end. Naturally, a lot of people are crying out for vengeance. But I've been doing my best to calm things down. Violent reprisals will only lead to more summonings. Indeed, violence will ever beget violence, as the Empire has learned, uh, learned to its cost in recent times. In any case, summoning Lakshmi was the, brood, the broodmother's doing, and whoever replaces her might not be so keen on the idea. We'll just have to watch and wait. Which isn't to say that we won't be putting the safety of our allies in, in the Vera and M tribes first. I plan to have resistance scouts keep track of Kalyana's movements at all times. My parents will be relieved to hear that. What are your plans for the rest of the resistance army out of, out of interest? Are we to prepare for Imperial counterattacks? That would be a question for the Resistance's newest recruit, a military commander with far more experience than me. What? The Bull of Alamigo? We call it an army, but the Resistance is really a collection of smaller, independent groups. And when Conrad passed his command on to me, that authority only extended to the Freedom Fighters based in Ralgar's Reach. He just happened to be serving as the Resistance spokesman at the time, and needed someone to take over the role while everything was in disarray. But that time has passed. When I speak with the other leaders about reforming the army under the new government, I'll be nominating Roban as the overall commander of our forces. He has more experience than the rest of us put together, and we, we stand to learn a lot from him. 
Indeed. He is in all respects the ideal choice, assuming he accepts the post. Alamigo would have, an, have added a formidable weapon to its arsenal. And given the progress of Nanamo's resettlement initiative, I see great cause for hope. The seeds which we so carefully sowed have begun to quicken, my friends. I like that. We tend, we tend to our promises and watch as Alamigo blooms. I'm also here. <laughs> <laughs> you totally could have had this conversation without me. I watch the conversations, then I fight the thing. I'm the weed killer. And then occasionally talk to three people, and then... Sometimes people questions. give me new clothes. <laughs> or wind-up toys. Or dances. The ultimate reward. Or emotes. These guys being alive is so baffling to me. That was just... What the fuck? Uh, who this is was you, Andrew? Was it me? It was you. Yeah. It was I do give thanks to the Kami that my makeshift raft withstood the fury of the seas. Uh, but there, there, but there, their generosity ended. Without coins in our pockets for new attire, we are doomed to look like so much jessam. Oh, woe betide the poor man in a city of rich merchants. Just work. Don't go. The stuff's good. Never had it. These but dango I'm, are delicious. Good. Will you have one? Who gave you dango? Did you steal dango? Hmm? Huh? More sweetbreads? I surrendered my blade to secure what few coins we have. Excuse me, it's made of rice. Those well, aren't sweetbreads testicles. Uh in some spheres maybe. Though I'd imagine them to be salt breads. Wow, good job eating. Believable. Rob <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bah! It's like talking to a child. Bah, it's the infinite dango. Why fate saddled me with this burden, I shall never know. But I am alive, and I must return to my master's side. Ugh. Come, Su uh, Suru. We shall find a, chip, a ship to carry us across the Ruby Sea. Holy crap, some of the dongo's gone. Whoa. Yeah. She actually ate things. Very quickly off camera. Off. It's a magic trick. Those are so big, too. In a minute. <laughs> I've never had dango that big. That's just because you don't look for dango that big. Yeah. The only good ones I've had are the ones with that stand at a... Uh, in the Asian market in Meanwhile, in a place far away. In a parallel dimension. <laughs> Look, a raid. <laughs> Have you read the reports? First Doma, then Alamigo. And Lord Zeno's put to the sword. <laughs> Fucking stupid helmet. How do you see? <laughs> you don't. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I don't even understand. But like, what is, how does this yeah. work? Do not believe everything you read. I hear the Viceroy was merely wounded, and that he had already returned to the capital. Naturally, the savages beat their chests and boast loudly of taking his head regardless. Forgot about the, the, hold on, let me get, like, let me get a cup. One second. Oh, there's this impossible stupid masks. Me? Lord Xenos lives. There we go. Is that better? <laughs> I think it's better. Deplorable. That her own officers should be fooled by Eorzean misinformation. Small wonder the provinces have been rising up in rebellion. We must prepare an official, and above all, accurate announcement to quell these pernicious rumors. Propaganda. It would wage war with empty words. Let them produce the Viceroy's remains, then. We shall soon put the lie to their claims. Bop, bop, bop. They're, they're, they're gonna pray the loss away. Right. 
Uh, there's always no, just somebody looming. Around. There's always a person looming off camera that overhears the conversation. Scheming. It's either above us or below us yeah. or nearby or like in the corner. The of number shadows. of cutscenes that end that way is just so fucking absurd. <laughs> Yay. So I looked up some of the Emote. What? So I looked up you Sweet Bread out of curiosity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the answer is it's generally the pancreas or throat mate, but it can also be used as cheek, ear, tongue, ovary, or testicle. So it's just generally awful. <laughs> mm. Wow. Unfortunate. Okay. Mm. Also, we are now officially in patch 4.2. Yay. Oh. Yay. Yay! Only 12,000 patches to go. Hero, great timing. I was just about to send word to the Scions. I've got lots to tell you. The Council has officially reorganized, uh, re recognized the Resistance as our, as our standing army. And I expect you can guess who's been appointed commander. Suffice to say, we're in a we're in good hand. Oh, <laughs> wow. off the top of the statue. This is disrespectful. Classic. Having the bull of Alamigo at the helm does wonders for morale. People were dancing in the streets when the announcement was made, and we have you and the Sultana to thank for it. If you two hadn't worked your magic, he'd never have contemplated following his heart. The Council has also decreed that we're to maintain a presence in Ralgar's Reach. L uh, Lise will continue to lead our forces in the fringes, a job she's been doing tirelessly. A bit too tirelessly, some might say. We're constantly having to remind her to rest before she falls over. I've never changed my clothes in weeks. This dress smells horrible. <laughs> That's an exaggeration, and I always get up again. Anyway, we can hardly afford to lower our guard now. Not after our latest brush with Lakshmi. Speaking of which, we've been keeping a close eye on the Kalyana, and it looks like they've chosen a new leader. Yay. It's, uh, Shanti's daughter. You know, the half-dead one. For whatever reason, the Kalyana thought she was the best candidate, which makes them leaderless, basically. What about As things idiots. stand, there's no prospect of engaging in talks, let alone coming to an understanding. But I won't let that stop me. I'll keep them. I'll keep on reaching out to them until they finally see sense. Like fucking a dead <laughs> Just like I've been reaching out to Fordola. She still won't re meet my gaze, but she's given up trying to ignore me. It may only be the odd grunt, but at least she's responding. I'll get through to her yet. It literally okay. at this point is the equivalent of beating a dead horse, and in this yeah. case, a dead it, that is more literal than figurative because you know half dead. Hero, there you are. Alphano, Alice, is everything all right? We received word from Tataru. Hancock has apparently acquired information of great interest and urgency. More than, more than that, she didn't say. Only that we should come to Kugane right away. I had a mind for, uh, for the two of us to set forth together, but Alice is determined to make it a party of three. Good news for me. I mean, she's been kind of left out of uh, a lot of fun. Yeah. As I've told you more than a dozen times, brother, my wounds are quite healed, and I would benefit from, from, from some fresh air. Besides, you may well need an extra pair of hands. Worry not, sister. I have quite given up trying to convince you. Whether we be two or three, we should depart as soon as possible. You will be joining us, I trust. Huh. I was about to say I'd come too, but I'll just have to settle for cheering you on from afar. Good luck with whatever it turns out to be. Thank you, Lise. Rest assured, should this business prove to be of even tangential concern to Alamico, we shall inform you without delay. Your messenger hero. Let us be off, then. Hancock and Tataru await us at the Ruby Bazaar offices. Not the Ruby Bazaar. Now that Alice is here, someone can actually fight. Yay! There is a oh my god, the Santa beard. What a what a nightmare. 
Oh, that's great. What a great Santa view. <laughs> Alright. Well, we did it. We, uh... Uh, I'm not sure. It's time Thank for Cool Guys. Great reading. Oh. Okay. okay. Yep, time uh, to go to, to Kugane. Uh, Goodbye. Also, Please. I find it strange that they say it's Kikern. I just, I just Kikirn? remembered that. Yeah. No, 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 not Kikern. Kikern. Yeah. Is how at least pronounced That's it, which is bizarre. We're not, no, no, this is the bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> I just was so thrown off by how long it took to recognize what they were. I, I liked the Kikirin, but I couldn't fucking tell it was them because it was looking straight at the camera every time. It looked like a weird rabbit. I'm like, who are these new people? Greetings, Anna. Greetings, Greetings show you in. Madam. No, don't. I don't want to be here. Also, how did you get here before us? Magic. Who got here before us? My friends, thank you for coming at such short notice. We were told the matter was urgent. I take it Yuguri and Sorobin are also involved? Ugh, my presence here is but a happy coincidence. I am come on separate business, which can wait. My apologies. Master Hancock, pray, tell our friends exactly what you told me. Of course, of course. Some few days ago, a large detachment of soldiers was seen arriving at the Garlean Embassy. This seemed to me most unusual, as no personages of note are due to visit for a matter of months. So, I made a few inquiries, whereupon I learned of a most curious rumor. Apparently, the soldiers were dispatched to Kugane to investigate recent sightings of a certain individual. The late acting Imperial Viceroy of Doma, Yotsuyu. I beg your pardon? I, too, am loath to believe it. I saw the keep come down on top of her. We all did. I would not presume to question your eyewitness accounts, nor am I one to take rumors at face value. The fact is, the Garleans have no knowledge of what took place at Dorma Castle. They may well be chasing after a woman who merely resembles Yotsuyu. But a woman who resembles Yotsuyu in the company of a grizzled Rogadan samurai? I dare say that thickens the plot. Gosetsu! He's alive! While I've no conclusive proof, I thought that such a possibility warranted your attention. Have you informed Lord Hien? Well, I think we'd all like to believe the old bear survived. Indeed. While I dare not give myself wholly to hope, I will not deny that I have prayed for such a miracle ever since that fateful day. But regardless of my personal feelings, if the Empire has seen fit to pursue these rumors so vigorously, we can scarce afford to ignore them. I am bound by duty to ascertain the truth of the matter. Will you join me in this quest? I will find Gosetsu together. Kind of a no-brainer. Thank you. If Gosetsu yet lives, he will need our help if he is to avoid capture. Gosetsu is a dear friend, and we cannot abandon him to the mercy of the Empire. Our course is clear. He was literally here. 
Hancock, is there aught else you can tell us? Alas, not. But I have taken the liberty of employing one of the finest informants money can buy. You shall have the latest intelligence on the Garleans' movements and more besides. The informant awaits your pleasure in the back. Oh, wait, I should probably wait for everybody. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Are we all ready? Right. I am. I'm good. Yeah. Oh, we're all here? Okay. Yep. yep. The informant awaits your pleasure in the back alleys of Sancho Hanamaki. Machi? Probably Machi. Machi. Yeah. From its shining facade to its dark underbelly, we few know Kugane as intimately as he. One of the finest informants money can buy. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? Andrew, I think. I think so? Yeah, that was me. Oops. Permit me to assist you in your quest, my friends. The sooner your business is concluded, the sooner we may speak of mine. Should your search take you away from Kugane, my boat is at your disposal. I shall see that she is ready to sail. I'll give Sorabun a hand. If he's providing us a ship, the least we can do is supply the provisions. We'll be at the pier if you need us. A welcome offer and an excellent plan. Without further ado then, let us seek out this informant, Sanjo Hanamachi. Okay. I do not like this plot point at all. <laughs> You can't. You're not. It's just. You're not allowed to do that. You can't. Oh my god, he's a reindeer now. <laughs> I love Jeez. it. In a great costume. You just can't. Like, you can't have these big dramatic deaths and then be like, "JK, no one died in that scene." Like, fuck you. <laughs> I hate that. Also, not not only did an entire building that dropped on him, she shot him several times out of spite to make him drop it on both of them. <laughs> And it was the big heroic sacrifice, and then they're like, JK, their life. Man. Usually record four with these? Uh, uh usually, usually, go usually for until three Brian. hours from seven to ten. Yeah. Right, okay. So another 45 yeah, so minutes. Pretty good. Oops. Probably one more quest line, essentially. We usually do seven to yeah. nine for most sessions, but for Final Fantasy, we're like, this game long. Yeah. yeah. If we were just doing two hours, like, we would never be finished with this game. No. True fact. I mean, we three hours get... is barely enough time to finish this game, so. Yeah. Imagine we if we played this game as much as we do Overwatch. <laughs> yeah. It'd uh... be way more exhausting to play that much, though, than Overwatch <laughs> is just a hangout thing. Yeah, you get a sore throat from all the speaking. Oh, don't I know it. Oh, yeah, because of all the, all the characters you voice who are so alive and still here. <laughs> This should be the place. Now we wait and see who comes. I voice everyone in this room. <laughs> Please don't be someone I, that's that I voice. I think this is the probably, hold on, I'm gonna see who it is. Uh, is this the samurai guy? With the stupid chicken or whatever? Oh no, it's this fish guy. Oh, it's it's the fish, right. yeah, this is. It, it's been a while, my friend. <laughs> yes, yes, a long while indeed. Oh right, I forgot. Cook him. Oh, him, the catfish. Yeah. <sighs> I knew it. Yodo, any funny business? And you know what will happen, I trust. No, no, no funny business. Only loyal service and the finest quality information. As of course, such quality does not come cheap. He's got a little bell because he's a catfish. Yep. Got him. No. But then, Hancock already paid you. Honestly, you must think we were born yesterday. I have half a mind to call Lise. No, 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 Lise. I gave you no boots. I will tell you everything I know three of times. The Empire stood before your luck, you. High and low. Far and wide. 
come to enlist my help, they did. Promising rich rewards for decisive information. And have you decisive information? Were the two individuals cited here, indeed, Gosatsu and Yotsu? Alas, pleading with my own eyes, I did not. But the Imperials are confident. Yes, yes, very confident indeed. Look at the size of their contingent. Mine's bigger. Oh god, talks so much. But there is something they do <laughs> not know. A rumor which you will find most interesting, I think. They say an elderly rogue and samurai appeared on Kogane Jory with a beautiful maiden and sold his katana to a pawnbroker. Towards no common katana either, but what a surprising craftsmanship. Gasp. He is unarmed? No, he has two. Nah. Robon's Is that only Robon? A Robon. Yeah. yeah. Well, that is interesting. Assuming it's true, did you corroborate the rumor with the pawn broker in question? Uh, uh no. Regrettably, I do not have a working relationship with the master of slow fucking sneaking. <laughs> what? Now, why would that be, I wonder? If I didn't know better, I'd think you'd, he'd lent you money. <laughs> he, he will help you, I'm certain. While you speak with him, I will make contact with my guardian connections and learn what I can of their progress. A glimpse of the blade is all I need to be sure. But it is why but is it wise to let Namazu out of our sight? No, not at all. He'll betray us. No, he'll betray us. No, no, no more betray us. No more boots. The fire forces is simply more efficient. He is right. Given the urgency, we would do well to split up. And so I will go with our friend here. Nothing improves efficacy, efficiency like a little supervision. Mm. You, but, uh, uh, yes, yes, we will go together and there will be no boots. Okay. No promise. Then let's be about it then. Good luck with the katana. Shall we reconvene at the pier later on? Fragrant as the Ruby Bazaar offices are, I prefer the fresh air. I believe Alice has her task well in hand. Shall we seek out the pawnbroker? Mm -hmm. We just Yay, learned greeting we now. What kind of greeting? Flash greeting. greeting. By the way, with the way um, Yoro squeaks, he reminds you of SpongeBob's boots. <laughs> Where is this greeting? It's a little wave. Flash greet. greeting. Oh, wow, that's really boring. Yep, yep. it's who gives a shit. <laughs> Yep. Looks like you got a situation of to be or not to be here. Green I can now summon dress up rub on minion. Do it, I dare you. Uh Minion Guide. He's got a little bull head. Look him go. I'm a tough important man. Alright. Everything in order? And let us proceed to Kogane Dori and find the master of, Sh of Shofuku... Shofuku Shichiten. Sure, let's do it. Zoop. Yep. Oh, turn. Zupa. Where are we going? Kogane Dori. Gotcha. Oh, good. We got to talk to three people again. 
Yes. I love that. That's never happened before. All right. Here's the oh, Perky Pawn Broker. Anybody want to be him? Do it. Hmm. Okay. Huh. Oh, sorry. Go for it. We might have had some uh, head customers like those you described. Uh, so many people come through, it's difficult to remember. Perhaps you could jog my memory by making a purchase? No? Well, you can't blame a woman for trying. <laughs> this is not the pawnbroker you seek. This is not the pawnbroker you're looking for. A Rogan and Samurai and a Maiden? Never seen them. Now, if you don't have any business with me, make a way for someone else who does. Okay. Yeah, credits will do fine. Welcome, good sir. Welcome. Will you be buying or... No need. Ah, so you have heard tell of the Rogan and Samurai's katana. Small wonder, it is a fine example of its kind. One moment. Smoke bomb. Dare I hope you have found our pawnbroker? Excellent work, hero. And that is the katana? I made a horrible wow, mistake. Wow, that thing is beaten to hell. Well, he's been using it for like 400 years or whatever. There can be no doubt. It is Gosetsu's blade. The craftsmanship is exquisite, is it not? And you will be pleased to know that the pledge has just expired. I should be glad to sell it to you, assuming you have the coin. This is no ordinary weapon, you understand, and it is priced accordingly. But if you are serious, I suggest you act quickly, as several noted collectors have already expressed an interest. Hmm. The blade represents conclusive proof of Gosetsu's survival. I suppose this could be considered a necessary cost in securing his safe return. Yet, it is not a decision I can make alone, least of all when our nation has scarce begun to rebuild. I got it. I'll pay. Right. One million gil. <laughs> Nay, my friend, grateful though I am for, your, for the offer, I cannot ask this of you. It is enough to know that Gosetsu is alive and well. Okay. Yugiri, wait. The Scions will buy the katana. Pray consider it a gift. M Master Alpha, no. Your kindness is touching, truly. Yet, in matters of coin, would Mistress Tataru not expect to be consulted? Come now. Our friend would never have relinquished his blade were the need not great. And are we not bound by honor to help a friend in need? I say we are, and I am sure Tataru will whole wholeheartedly agree. It's settled, then. You have made a wise choice, my friend. Such pieces are few and far between. Now, if you would go be, be so good as to come this way, I shall prepare the necessary papers. One million gil. If I may ask, sir... After he visited your establishment, do you perchance know where the old samurai went? He is our friend, and we would return his weapon to him. A friend of yours, you say? I see. Well then, I suppose there could be no harm in telling you. No sooner had I provided him with the request sum, requested sum of his, uh, his, of the requested sum, than his pretty young companion began clamoring for Dongo. I duly recommended those served at the Yume Niko Tea House, and thither did they set off. Clamoring for Dango? Can these truly be the same people? It makes no sense. Some manner of code, perhaps, but it avails us not to speculate. Tell, uh, let us go to the tea house and see if we can pick up their trail. I just reflexively took him on because we I'm so used to looping when they do three people that I'm like, shit, I should have had purple to that character. Yeah, I was kind of expecting to have to do it as well. Yeah. Oh well, there's always the next one. 
Every time a new character is introduced. I'm like, what I don't I know who you guys have already assigned voices as to, me, so I don't as want to me, step like, on anyone. Yeah, as of me, like, what have I done? I'm literally in a room where, with all the characters that I already voice. I mean, you could always throw, like, Alphano at purple. Uh, they have Rothgar. a lot of dialogue, so I imagine uh, Keith's done a lot of voice What is that tail? What is that? A... What, what the f- What, what is this tail that this fucking Rothgar has? What? Look at the goofy what? tail Rod on their- on the- look at- back. Paid oh for god. Oh, uh, got like what? a deer. Oh, it's an antelope skin, yeah. <laughs> Replica. Wait. It looks so goofy. Oh my it's god. It's an oh. robe. Yeah, the goofy little tail. Oh, butt. it's PvP gear. No. It's really yeah. funny. Does uh, anyone know what the. <laughs> does anyone know what the big giant bushy foxtail looking outfit is? That is the wolf gear. Right, okay. I think. Oh. No, I mean like uh, a massive or... bushy wolf tail, uh, like no. fox tail. Yeah. Or jacket of striking. Ah. PVP doesn't even seem PvP slightly fun in this game. It's uh, it's very it's chaotic, not but bad. the gear is nice. Mm. It's worth a ton of experience. I will say that doing oh, the, that too, uh, the yeah. PvP stuff. Ume. Has anyone done this one? No. Go for it, purple. But of course I remember. How could I forget a pair like that? The most beautiful girl you'll ever see. Scoffing down Dango as if her life depended on it while the old samurai looked on. Not quite what I expected, I'll wager. Far be it from me to gossip about my customers, but he was planning to spirit her way across the Ruby Sea, out of the reach of her family, no doubt. When the girl has finally had her fill, they set off in the direction of the Shiokaze Hostillery, presumably to find some discreet, someone discreet with a boat. So, Gosetsu makes for Doma. No, that's, uh, oh, sorry. Gear. So, Gosetsu makes for Doma. But this woman who travels with him, the more I hear about her, the more I wonder if she can truly be Yotsu. Eh. Uh. Uh. Oh, wait. This guy's got the fucking... What is this? Yeah, they, were, they got the big uh -huh. tail. Examine. What is he wearing? That's exactly they're the one I was following us about, this in fact. entire time. Yeah, they, were they? I was gonna the say they gestured at us. Striking. Oops. Interesting. That's cool. All right. While doubts remain over the identity of Gosetsu's traveling companion, for now we can but follow the trail. Come, let us away to the pier and make ready to sail. With luck, Alice will have already joined Master Soroban and, and Mistress Tataru there. Mm. Mm. Can I make a prediction that when that lot fell you, on us, she's oh, it's just the person in Chad is why. Oh, yeah. okay. They put it on because you're talking about it. Ah, I like that piece of outfit. That if that is from PvP, I might have to go. Uh, uh, it's some... it's not. It's from a dungeon. The next expansion. Ah. Okay. Well, I definitely want to farm that then. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing she's got amnesia. That's what I'm calling for this piece of plot. It's, yeah. it's weird that they had they, this expansion had two separate like genocidal sidekick women, and then we killed their leaders, and then both those genocidal sidekick women are like, I, I just like time to manufacture a redemption arc for both of them. They're very docile now. Yep. All right. Excellent timing, my friends. Mistress Alice arrived mere moments ago. All went well on my end. Gyodo met with an Imperial officer and wheedled his way to some new information. It seems the troops who recently arrived in Kugane came directly from Garmat. The Imperials based here have been kept in the dark. And that's not all. A contingent of the aforementioned troops are preparing for deployment at the Ruby Sea. If I didn't know better, I'd say they'd picked up Gosetsu's trail. Then your information matches ours. We are quite certain that Gosetsu seeks to cross to the mainland. I intentionally give them almost the same voice because they're the twins. Aren't they twins? twins. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they're twins. Even dressed the same, distressingly. I'm sorry. Did I hear that right? 
Use Zion funds to buy Grosetsu's katana at the asking price? I, uh, well, we were in some haste and it seemed a worthwhile gesture. Speaking of which, here is the contract of sale. Pray see that the man is paid. He's gonna have a heart attack. Val's beard, you agreed to this? Give me strength. <sighs> well, it's not like the search can wait. You'd best be on your way. It's cool, I'll just spend dozens of hours cleaning up your fucking messes. But Alphina, we need to talk. I want you to come straight to the offices as soon as you get back. Promise me. Yes, no. Oh, very well. I shall call upon you as soon as I return. Never. First, let's go to the ruby price. If Kosetsu has already set sail, the sentries there are sure to have seen him. Let's go. Solo instance. Bye, everybody. Ah, all right. <laughs> if we must. You must. Tataro seemed rather vexed, did she not? Even the ever the melodramatist. I am sure our finances can stretch to a single word, sword. Remind me to explain the value of such gestures when we next see her. Ah, uh, but I digress. We have work to do. I don't think money lasts forever, kid, and you have a pretty big organization going on. I don't think she was annoyed that he'd spent money more that he didn't barter for it. Yeah. Right. I suggest yeah, we like, begin by we have a direct contact with the Ruby, or what is it, the Ruby Bazaar? Like, surely there would have been something we could have used to lower that price. Uh, hello? hello? What have we here? Hello, Paris. Or? What's going on out there? Look at me, nothing. Travelers, are you? You may wish to postpone your plans. The Garleans have launched an attack on the Confederacy. <laughs> okay, then. We have no reason to believe they'll turn their attention here. But for your own safety, I suggest you return to Kugane. Do we look like we're just travelers? Yeah. Like, we're probably more you well equipped than who I am here. <laughs> I'm just going to pull a Karen on them. Do you know who I am? <laughs> oh my god, what are those? Uh, I've seen one of those as a fell boss out of the, the fucking dungeons. plane. <laughs> Small change of plans, travelers. Seems we've had a spot of war. But with Dome Again. To them, why would they attack? Unless. Unless Yotsugu is on that island. Even if she isn't, our allies are under attack and they need our help. We will help them while you remain with Soroban. Arguing will only delay us. Is that clear? Fine, but you haven't heard the last of this. Soroban, we may need to make a swift exit. See that the boat is ready to sail at a moment's notice. <laughs> it shall be done. Huh? Wait, what? What? <laughs> and you're going oh, to then. Swim, are you? <laughs> Did not see that coming. <laughs> I'm just going to mount over and that. You may rest yeah. I yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to fly. <laughs> The way my character jumped off there, I just expected to land on his unconscious floating body and use him like a raft. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, he's, he's lucky still sitting that here on the he... beach. I wouldn't be surprised he if he was just completely so unconscious. Lucky. Yeah. He Alpha, left no, oh no. He 
Can you imagine had there been a rock or something at the bottom? Leave this to me. I mean, there is eventually. All right. <laughs> this is true. Oh, that magic tech armor got an upgrade. Right. And that's supposedly the rear guard. They must have something very important up their rear to guard them with these. <laughs> Some big old plugs right there. Derriere century. You guys are probably like, wait a second, how come things got really rough all of a sudden? Oh yeah, things are getting rough for the rear guard. Yeah. Looking NPCs. Oh, you got easier. Okay. Now she disappeared again. Let me be your dance partner. <laughs> It's so hard to select non-party members. Wow. Mm -hmm. Quick, use dynamic camera angles to disguise nothing. the fact that you're just doing one animation over and over again. Lady Yotsuyu, we're here to rescue you. Please, come with us. Stay back, Tsuyu. <coughs> She's, po she's been poisoning him with Dango. You literally shot him. <laughs> like. Damn it! We took too long. you know I'm not hostile. I'm defensive. Thank you very much. All forces attack! No, you're very uh, hostile. Wait, God, no. that warrior light's so triggered right now. How pissed he is. <laughs> I'm stunned. Stop it. I don't like it. Guy's got too many HPs. What are you gonna do with all those HPs? Oh god. Oh god, die. Thank you. Oh my god, there's oh, a lot of Oh, okay, there's more? Now. Yeah. What if I ask you politely to stop? <laughs> uh, probably not. Oh! They're just shooting at each other. Let's see, it's two. Miss Yuguri. I like how everyone in the background is doing like one move at each other on a time uh, on a timer. Yeah. We're helping. Don't look at us.
They're like a worker that's trying to get by doing as little as possible during their shift. Okay, we do need Boss to kill makes a dollar, I make a dime. Me. So that's why I shit on company time. Oh god, we're not gonna make it! Fuck, it's gonna hurt. Did that escape something? It's self-destruct. Ah, uh, the self-destruct, yeah. Oh. I couldn't stop both of the self-destructs at the same time. Oh, you, do, you DPS them down together? Yeah. And what did we learn today? Uh, that I'm a tank, so it can't, apparently it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm a tank. Mistakes don't apply to me. I will say that I am... would prefer if you didn't stand next to me, Yugiri. You are not a tank. You are going to die. Don't stand. Don't stand so... Don't stand so close to me. What are all these things? Oh, those seems bad. Wait, what do I do with those? Wait, am I about to explode? You just ignore them. What's the giant shockwave mean? The art of my forebears. What's a hoplomachus? Is that a dinosaur? Oh, it doesn't have very many hit points, whatever it is. going on there? You'll never defeat our new soldier, the Diplodocus. Oh my god, that's a lot of enemies. Fuck. Oh, there are more mechs than before. Hey, this is way too many. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's almost enough for them to become a fandom. Come here, come here. No, 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 no. Come here. All right, I'm gonna put them all into one circle. And then we're going to blast them to death. I'm single targeting them because I don't want them to all explode at the same time. No, someone's doing like a, what's it called? Oh. There it goes. Yeah. All, all these background ones are all Someone dead. Did a big old AOE. Oh, they got fucked yeah, up. Yeah, not fast enough. Yep. Done. Easy clap. Gosetsu, thank the heavens! <sighs> Yugiri, my friends, the Kami were kind to guide your steps this way. It's over. The Imperials are retreating. I suppose we have you to thank for that. But they would never have come here were it not for her. I had a bad feeling the moment your samurai friend arrived with that woman in tow. Do not be afraid, Suyu. These people are my friends. Friends. Forgive me, but at the risk of souring the mood, I believe you owe us an explanation. You may start by telling us what happened at Doma Castle. Of course. I'll not begrudge you that. As you know, we were trapped inside the keep when it collapsed. But even as the roof crumbled above us, so too did the floor below. We were swept out into the one river. 
where we would surely have drowned had a stout wooden door not chanced to float by, offering us a raft of sorts. Exhausted, we drifted out to sea at the mercy of the tides, which saw fit to dispense us on a desert island. She was with you the entire time. Aye. T'was her kimono which saved her from Hian's blade, believe it or not. Some Galian witchcraft in the weave. But it offered precious little protection against the fall. Though she survived, she awoke bereft of all her memories, and speaking like a child. A trick, surely. That was my first thought, I. And I contemplated cutting her down and being done with it. Contemplated it long and hard. Yet the Kami saw fit to deliver us from certain death. T'was their will that we survive, both of us, together. And together we shall go before our master. He shall be the one to judge. Judge what? She's your prisoner, old man. Do with her as you will. Call her Tsuyu, or whatever else tickles your fancy. T'was a name given out of necessity whilst on the road. Nothing more. As you say. But remember this. Our people suffered much at that woman's hands. When the time comes, I trust you won't let emotion blind you to what needs to be done. You have my word. Well, I must be going. I have an unholy mess to clean up. You should be on your way too, before the Imperials decide to take another tilt. Oh, and we'll overlook the tithe this once. You're welcome. Sometimes you're lucky if we even get to fight in an entire day with how much right? it's just talking. It, and now yeah, we've had, enough. what, three? Two. Yeah. Was it? Oh, no, the world boss as well. Yeah. Well, as Tatsui says, really yeah. we should move on. I would, it would not do for Yatsuyo to be seen here. Now, if I know my sister, she will already be waiting with the boat at the nearby pier. Let's go and see if I'm right. Okay. But him tish. As everybody walks away very, very slowly. Where are we going? Oh, we're just down there. I didn't get the. Didn't take the party invite. We're still stuck with him walking away. <laughs> Send another one. Uh, player has already been invited. Hold on. Uh. Uh, uh nope. nope. Well, let me. Where do I do send that? Send you another invite. Should be in the bottom right. There should be an invite. Nope. Oh yeah, I got it. There we go. Let me face. pose like the sabotender in the car. What are you all doing? <laughs> this is the longest way to get here I've ever seen. They flew in a straight path, it's just we took a long time for the party to join. <laughs> yeah. Technical difficulties. Yeah, my brain. That's the technical part. <laughs> yeah. Gosetsu, thank the gods you're safe. It was all I could do to watch the battle from afar. And it was all I could do to restrain her. Can you blame me for worrying? Strong as the hero is, 
anything could have happened in that chaos. But enough about, enough about me. We need to talk about her. I thought just once that a character I voiced died. <laughs> <laughs> You're not me, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Um, greetings. They tell me you've lost your memory, and that's fine. <laughs> I want you to know something. I won't be taking my eyes off you, not for a moment. These people are strange. Are you sure they're your friends? I am. They may, be, they may behave strangely, but I trust them with my life. You have not to fear. All right, if you say so. Mm -mm. Uh, right, it is past time we set sail. I, for one, would not keep Lord Hien waiting without due cause. Aye, and the longer we tarry, the more we risk inviting trouble. Lest you forget, the Red Koji bear no love for your sewer either. I shall deliver you to familiar shores, near Isari, but out of the villager's sight. Probably the beach that we first met her on, I would wager. How convenient. How can it oh, is all right. on the beach wow. that we first met? I can't believe it's that beach. So secluded. <laughs> Here it is where we part ways, my friends. I pray the remainder of your journey passes uneventfully. Hero, when you are not otherwise occupied, I would speak with you about my next business venture. Oh, okay. It promises to be extremely lucrative, and I do not say so lightly. After the prestigious sum spent acquiring a certain sword, I would present a fine opportunity to refill the Scion's coffers and restore the smile to Mistress Tataru's face. Oh, come along. Tataru is overreacting. How much could a single katana possibly cost? Did he even check? Didn't check? <laughs> How no, much could a banana be even? Twelve dollars? <laughs> Far more than you think, plainly. The booty shorts are back. <laughs> they are. A blade like Gosetsu's is worth a fortune. Enough to buy a house and furnish it. Which you would know had you bothered to check the price. Go what? Out. I, I had no idea. Th this business venture of Sora Bonds. You will give it a fear hearing, hearing, I trust. He has been good to us, after all. As for me, I I think I shall look into drawing up more personal funds. Yeah, that's... So, assuming, of course, they're referring to the value of an in-game house, uh, a... About five million? Oop, a I just small clicked. house uh... by itself is anywhere from, like, three to like what is it 3.5 million i think 3.7 million well remember like those house prices are inflated you have to think of like how much a house cost well, no, no, when no. it first came out 